Today what we're going to be doing is a very simple stuff but extremely powerful. So we're going to be taking, uh, so let me show you. A picture is better than a thousand words. So this is what we're, what we're going to be doing. Um, at the beginning I thought to show you guys how to do this one, very simple. But then I was like, that that is extremely simple. So for legal purposes, I cannot show you what I currently have on this one here on investments. Uh, that's my investments, and I can't show you that for legal reasons. And I also want to have a disclaimer here that I'm not affiliated to anyone to anything. This is not a financial video. I'm not suggesting you anything. I'm not a financial advisor or anything of that kind. This video is. Uh, purely for uh, for software purposes. That is all. all right, let's get into it. So um, I'm going to show you guys how to uh, how to integrate the coins. The disclaimer: not all the coins are currently integrated in this. So you may be wondering how is it that we can get the price in real time uh, from from here from numbers. The answer is that uh, it's getting it from Yahoo uh, Financials, the website. So if you Google Yahoo Finance and then you type, for example, Bitcoin on the search of Yahoo Finance, you will get a price. Now, that price is kind of limited, in my opinion. Well, not in my opinion, it's kind of limited because once the market closes, uh, the price stays the same, right? So. Uh, the way crypto works is the price, you can trade crypto 24 seven. However, in the financial market, there are some limitations in this website specifically Yahoo Finance. After the market is closed, that price stays the same. So that's just a disclaimer for you. So let's get here to the actual sheet and let's see how you can uh, integrate. So. I'm going to create one from scratch and instead of creating this one, this was an example that I previously want to show you. We're going to create this one and this is the, the one that I have here. This is the one that I use and it looks kind of cool. Uh, I think uh, we'll, we'll get, we'll modify it a little bit. So the first thing we're going to do is let me put this to the side. And the first thing we're going to do is have a clean sheet, right? And you can name this, for example, what I have there, Diamond Hands. If you don't know what Diamond Hands is, I encourage you to look it up. It's, it's what you should be doing. What you should be having. So Diamond Hands, right? What's that? Did I misspell that? There you go. So now here we're going to put status. And then here we're going to put symbol name and i'm gonna keep, keep going on this because i don't want to make the video too extensive uh i'm gonna show you how to do it and then we'll customize that if you want to stick to the whole video again of course and i would encourage you to subscribe to the channel as well so the way i like to do this is in reverse order so wait i'm not gonna put a status here i'm gonna put that is here and then here name. So I begin here in this column and I put the symbol BTC, for example, Bitcoin. Now, the way that Yahoo Finance, the way that this spreadsheet grabs the data is you have to specify the, uh, the coin, for example, Bitcoin, and then you specify the currency. So. In this case, we're going to get the values, the, the, the price for Bitcoin in USD dollars. You can do it in euros as well. It depends on what Yahoo Finance has. So BTC, and then you're going to put here USD. All right, so now that we have the coin and the currency that we want to match it with, we're going to need to put here on the name. We're going to grab the name out of that coin and currency. So hover this, uh, this cell here and then click on insert on the this 
and then click on a uh, new formula and we're going to type here stock enter and then here is going to ask you the symbol so the symbol just simply left click here the symbol that we define here and we're going to be asking for the name so I'll click here name and then accept that and as you can see it's telling you bitcoin um so basically what you're doing here is just grabbing the data from the symbol that you created btc stands for bitcoin usd stands for usd dollars so current price i'm gonna put here the uh price enter there you go you get the exact price um we're gonna put what else the current market cap very important market cap So the same thing, I'm gonna show you another trick. Now, the way I'm doing this with this symbol here is because if you want to grab another symbol, for example, Dutch, hit enter, you see how everything changes? So you don't have to type manually one thing at a time, so you're just changing one. So for example, if you sell this one and then you're going to replace it by another one uh, with another one, you can simply change that. You don't have to change the entire thing the whole thing so this is very powerful by the way guys if you're enjoying this video if you're getting any value out of this subscribe to the channel i really appreciate it it helps me a lot so okay let's go to market cap we're going to be doing the same thing so insert new formula stocks stock enter then we're going to move this to the side the symbol just hit it there enter here and we're going to look for market cap. What are you? Here, there you go. And that's it. So this is the this is the most fundamental part of this. If if you if you want to add more coins, this is how you do it. Now there is some trick on this. For example, um, let's say that a stock got registered under this symbol before and now you have a coin with the same name for example let's say that dutch coin let's say the bitcoin the famous one let's say the bitcoin got uh is late to the party because there is another stock that uh was registered under that symbol uh by the way uh stocks register like this with the dollar symbol and the coins are not anyways so let's say that we have a BTC from before and now Bitcoin comes along and says, hey, I want BTC as well. Now BTC is taken already. So if you put here BTC, you're not going to get Bitcoin, right? So I'm going to show you a trick. So what you can do to, to search uh, the, the symbol of the coin that you're looking for, it's very simple. So you go to your favorite browser. All right, so now that we're in the browser, you're going to uh, go to Google or whatever search engine you want and then type Yahoo Finance. And you're going to go there. Now here in quote lookup, this is what I was telling you before. So here is where you're going to type the coin that you're looking for. Of course, you don't have to do this uh, every time if you already know that the symbol then uh, you can put it on the on the spreadsheet here so let me show you an example of a tricky one one that you may think hey i know the name and the symbol on uh, on of the coin but it's not registered here for example dot and we're going to type it in usd so now if you do this you come here insert stock code now um, in formula now we type again stock enter and now on the symbol we type this one and we just want the name now look what you're gonna get are we wrong in typing dot uh, dash usd no we're not because that's that is the symbol that is the the symbol of the coin however this one is a tricky one why because it is not dot one but rather dot one why because there was already one registered with that and that's what i meant at the beginning now of course if you didn't know this uh you just went here because a friend just told you 
uh, a coin and then you come here and you want to track it and it doesn't appear what you can do is come to uh, Yahoo Finance and then just put the name of the coin so let's say that you don't know you know the symbol but it's not appearing there just put the name there for example this one is called Polkadot right and then just look here for uh, Polkadot in USD there you go as you can see we can find it under that one USD now if you want to take it one step further what you can do is um, compare the prices so the price that you're looking at right now in Yahoo Finance and the one that you would find in any other uh, crypto platform that tells you the price that's one way to find out if you're getting the right price on Yahoo Finance for the right coin all right so now that we have that one uh, oops got the wrong one uh, here so now that we have this one you can just come here and say hey I know this symbol and I know that I want an USD all right so I'm going to show you another trick uh, this, this I do it all the time so you're going to copy and paste this on the on the and the one from below because there is no need for repetition here just copy paste that and the same thing for you for you here now the other thing that you can do is uh, create a formula for your gain and losses like I have here and then simply just create new formula right and then do uh, I don't know D cell minus D cell that is in parentheses and then you want to I don't know multiply uh, D cell times D cell you know what I'm saying this is this is this is wrong what I'm doing here but I'm just trying to explain you that you can do a formula to calculate your gain or losses so here you can create whatever formula you want for example mine I have it for uh, the difference in in capital gain and losses uh, of my of my assets uh, what I buy and what I sell so that that is the formula that I have here all right guys so if you enjoyed this video please give it a like subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more content like this and let me know in the comments below if you found this video useful and if I'm missing something that I can share with you on the next video I really appreciate it Thank you. See you next time.